Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Roleplay Challenge, Julian Assange. In the last part, we got pretty close to taking it out to the Romans. In this part, we are going to finish the job. And I pretty much only want this city before I cap him, I think. This one is going to be under Ottoman pressure constantly. Yeah, and he tried to vote a stop war, and it's not gonna it's not gonna fly because I control the Apostolic Palace pretty soundly at this point. And yeah, now uh, boats can freely travel through here. Let me put another fort over there. And okay, all right, get some galleons going. I've already got some forces accruing for the next invasion, and I'm going to have plenty of leftovers from this one. So that'll be nice. What just happened? Oh, he got a knight from somewhere. Well. And a mace, apparently. For all I care. And I, yeah, I'm getting attacked by airships. But since they don't do any collateral, I'm, my siege is fine. And then, since my siege does so much collateral, uh, anything that's damaged by airships is still fine attacking his red line stuff. So I'm fine. Even against that kind of stuff. And I could just buy it. No, uh, once I get out of the war with him. But again, I, I, I'm not going to, I'm just going to wait. I have no incentive to get rid of all of my monasteries right now. You know, if he gets some awesome stuff as my vassal, well, okay, I'll buy through. And uh, then, you know, to minimize the amount of time I'm spending losing the monastery benefits and, uh, without gaining something even better in turn. So I'll just let him research some stuff and then buy it. Sure. And my income at this point is pretty crazy. 97% revolt chance. With that espionage mission. Okay, lost one trab, lost two trabs. Kind of unlucky considering they were both over 70% odds. But just some raffle stopping with the elephants now. And probably only gonna leave one musket here. I don't care about revolt in this city. Alrighty, just hit four there. Yep. That's that. You are going to capitulate. And what? Why do you want to give me that city? Not interested. I don't care where it is. Nope, just the capitulation. Yeah, he's miserably small part of my land in Pop. And yeah, the Ottomans have fallen behind his percentage land in Pop. Obviously, the Persians have like nothing. So, that takes care of that. That war is over. And as you can see, just from building ships in one city, I pretty much already have enough that I can chain some transports straight over without any trouble. Hmm. Okay. Let's just uh, leave this the way it is here. Yeah, just do whatever. Almost have steel. I'm gonna use up a lot of my money in buying steel and upgrading my units from having it. a lot of money. <laughs> Could build ironclads, but why? They suck. Well, no, they're pretty good seafood defense, but that's all they are. Because they're so slow, they can't do anything else. Nope, not interested. I'd rather better production in science, thanks. Well, science is kind of moot here, actually. Considering I'm not running the slider at all, or running any scientist specialists. Or even showing her remote interest in science. <laughs> wow, that's unusual. I got a merchant. Now, there's no rules against running specialists. Like, I could have built pyramids and just run spe uh, scientist specialists the entire time. I just, you know, I, I felt like that kind of broke the spirit of the RPC. Plus, I felt it was actually weaker. Like, if you have to cut your slider this much, you're still relying on passive commerce if you're using uh, spies, um, scientists like that and actually researching. But I'm not relying on passive commerce here. 
I'm well other than for gold, and I'm getting my the commerce I do care about multiplied efficiently through my gold improvements. So that's uh, really why I did this. You know, if we're if we're forced into this restriction, this is the way I feel like is strongest in the game to play. And hurry up and finish researching that, would you? Is anyone else researching decently? Persons are researching replaceable parts, which I already have. That's no good. Romans researching constitution. Okay, you can finish that. <laughs> so much money. It's a gold empire, viewers. And it just begs the question how many galleons I need, because eventually I want to work in some frigates. Just as a precaution for when they start uh, picking up frigates of their own. He does have astronomy now, so he's capable of invading me. They technically always have been. They could have just uh, boated through here gradually and reached me. Or anyway, Egypt could reach me using their culture. The others need astronomy, I think. Yeah, yeah, because there's no bridge there for culture. Okay. Well, you could, but they don't have one. Anyway, this position is pretty strong. Cannons are pretty much the final piece of the puzzle to land on the other side of the world and start dealing some damage. Start ending the game. I almost want to land on Arabia first. But I think I'll do it in a secondary wave. Like, I'll land initially in Zululands and kill their stacks and take care of them. And then I'll land a secondary force that's still important onto Arabia's land and attack and kill them off so that way I'll get capitulation easier. Yeah, we don't need anything better than muskets to go with cannons because they're not, they're backwards. They're not going to stand up to us. Two more turns and I can start making cannons. And yep, got more scientific method here. I don't care about that at all. I mean, I guess it could try for said sushi or something. I don't know. Not worth my time. I'm still actually in mercantilism, but I'm still getting trade routes from it too. And yeah, as you can see, you can uh, you can cut through thanks to forts. That's why I did that. That thing's just on auto explore still. All right, one more turn. Yep, I had a city flip over to the Ottomans. I didn't care to garrison it. It didn't matter. They're not going to break free no matter what. No, Hattie. You've kind of used up your chances to actually impress me and have you join my fold. So you'll be my conquest vassal last, possibly. You've worn out my patience. Oh, come on, Ottomans. 20,000. <laughs> Stockpiling gold so much. I have no other way to use it. I mean, what? Do I pump up espionage? I guess I should. I guess I should pump up espionage on my next opponent. We'll spend a little bit of time doing that. <laughs> That fort's taking forever. But okay. Uh, um, let's see. You were going to go for steel, so I'll buy that from you. Decent chunk of change for two cares. Uh, I'll buy a map. Nothing of use. Okay. And then we would like you to research rifling. Let somebody finally get it. You can even get it in a decent amount of time. Before that steam drill shall beat me down. Yeah, I'm just putting enough espionage to see the cities of the Zulu. I mean, clearly I'm stronger. I just want to make sure I'm not walking into anything stupid when I land. Oh my god, it only took one turn. <laughs> oh, it was like 1,700 espionage. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> My other forces aren't even over yet. Yeah, so there's the Roman city, and 
That revolted, so I guess I can just bring these muskets along for the sh for the fun. For the lols. <sighs> He's the master of Arabia, right? Nah, where's? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's the master of Arabia. It's protective, but when I have cannons, I'm not going to care. Okay, like, seriously. Where is his stack? He's no stack. Um. Oh my god. I will attack that amphibiously just to sink that on the turn I declare. In fact... I think it's time to queue up a bunch of frigates for bombardment to accomplish that goal, because it's less painful to attack amphibiously if you have uh, if you have navies to bombard. So just like five, six, probably like eight of them is not too bad, and we'll even invest in a dry docks to speed things along a little bit. Hurry up and get constitution. And then I'll direct somebody to research democracy. <laughs> so much gold. I don't even have um, free speech yet. Well, I could, but I'm running uh, nationhood. I should probably be running free speech since I'm going so much gold. And if I get another great person that's not a merchant, I'll probably just burn it on a golden age and switch over. Or maybe I'll wait. It's a possibility that I'll wait to market, grocer, <laughs> grocer, yeah, because then I can go like the whole full gamut, like if I can wait until, uh, oh, that's the right pronunciation. But if I can wait until I can get the Ottomans or somebody to research democracy and trade for it, then I can just mass civic switch with the Golden Age. Nope. You're still bent over. Alrighty. Yes, I know my population exceeds the domination limit. <laughs> Quite soundly, for that matter. Ah, here we go. Well, now that I have all my tribes in one place, I can do a mass upgrade. It costs so little. Only 2,800, really? I guess because uh, trebuchets and cannons are pretty equal in their hammer cost. But this is getting obscene now. Like, <laughs> just upgrading all of my, like, a good portion of my army instantly. And it didn't even cost, like, 20% of my wealth. <laughs> and I'm just getting more and more stuff, too. Now, I'm not even going to bother uh, taking out his navy first. Or no, maybe I should, but just uh, brute force it. Yeah, no more no more Apostolic Palace for you, Gadugal. You're done. You're done with that forever. Because I don't want to wait too long before I declare on Shaka. Or Ken. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm kind of surprised at the amount of forces. It's because it's not Shaka. Shaka would have more units. But he's not ruling that empire this time. It's somebody else. Oh, nope, don't need two cannons. Yeah, I'm not going to lose a lot of cannons, so I don't need to produce them too much. That's why I queued up so many extra muskets in a lot of these cities. So I'm just going to need stuff to placeholder and control cities. Hmm. Somebody's plotting war, or somebody's at war, or who cares? Yeah, look at that. Now you can't do anything because I am the master of all of you. I even, I even the one who built the Apostolic Palace now, because I captured the city that had it. Ha! Poodle Hair Assange is the win. Oh my God, I have so many like. Okay, when you don't need, like, a bunch of the buildings because of the way you're running the game, you use so many extra hammers. I'm just dumping it in the military, and it's working. 
before it's because we're only an emperor, but this is such a lead that I, I really honestly think this is viable in general, if a little tedious, and maybe suboptimal, but it's fun. <laughs> I haven't used mass amounts of stupid crap in forever. I mean, look at this. This is this is stupid. Who uses muskets? No one uses muskets, but I'm using muskets now. Oh yeah, these guys are for some reason hanging out here because I told them to earlier. All of you are going to have to speeding up my travel time. Yeah, fine. I'll wait for some frigates. And the reason I didn't build forts to the left, viewers, uh, some of you will probably have asked before this video, but I'm answering it now, is that um, this wouldn't be a valid tile for a ship to enter in a fort. A ship can only enter a fort if at least one of its bordering tiles is on the water uh, in, in the surrounding eight tiles. So that's why um, it's okay here, because this is borders that, and here because of this and this bordering that fort. But you can't... Uh, you can't have a fort that's inland, like completely surrounded by land tiles on all sides. Lakes count. You're allowed to build a fort, then, like, you're allowed to, if this were a lake, you could go, like, fort, lake, fort, and then water again, and cross a longer distance. But that's not the case. There's really a lot of lakes on this map. I guess this would be an example. Like, I could put a fort here and here, and, like, have a ship go all the way through because of the lake. So... If you have a lake, it'll work, but it has to be water of some kind, not river, like a lake or, you know, uh, ocean, or it doesn't work. And now Neapolis is getting crushed. Oh yeah, Constitution next turn. And I think I might even gift it over to the Ottomans just to... Oh, I can buy rifles. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy rifle in and buy rifles. I have nothing better to do with the money. Here. And if I have anything left over after this, I will dump it into... Political power grows out of the barrel... Um, of buying economy. constitution. So here we are again. Easy upgrade of all my forces to rifles. Very late in the game at 6, 7, 1670 AD, but earlier than any of the uh, AIs managed it. So that's that's as good as you can really care about when you're running an espionage game. You're not going to out-tech the AI very easily. You kind of rely on them to tech for you. If they don't tech for you, then you're SOL. Anyway, I got a lot of rifles just then, so that's very powerful. Now we just need to... Oh, I can even use chemistry for part of the bargaining chip for Constitution. Oh wow, I can use chemistry for it completely. It's open borders. Wow. No free man shall be taken in prison. And I think next turn I'm just going to gift it over to the Ottomans and have him research uh, democracy for me. Wow. WikiLeaks is kind of becoming too massive an organization for anyone in the world to contend with it. Scary. Oh, come on, load up. Here we go. What will you give me for this? Probably money and gold. Wow. Money and gold. That's great. Um, I meant gold on a map, though. We would like you to research... Democracy. Because he's actually researching pretty well. So my little puppet guy is... is doing justice. Okay. I don't need too many cannons for this stack, because this stack is going to be pretty... baller, so to speak. Yeah, okay. But I'll bring some cannons along. Oh, I want my uh, super general in this stack though too, to heal up these, because this is going to be the stack that's going to take the brunt of the re reinforcements, retaliation, you name it. And no, I don't really need anything else. I'm just going to do the shuttling approach. I think uh, one or two more frigates should be good enough. I have rifles now. That's fine. I think just this frigate's going to be good enough. Yeah, 
Alright, so next turn we'll start on the way over. Let's check the time. Oh, we've got some time. Yeah, Dry Dock plus Heroic Epic plus Frigate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you get some pretty good ships. Pretty good ships. No, I have Clam, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have six Clams. Sid Sushi is really powerful on this map, by the way. Like, a, like amazing powerful. I can actually get Navigation 2 now, of course, now that it doesn't matter. I'm still going to take it, though. I'd rather have these ships be mobile. Okay, so, yeah, having espionage, I can see that all the ships are there. I'm just going to sink them in port on the turn I declare on them. Five turns to get there, probably, and one more after that before I can attack. And then another um, eight or nine turns before I land in Arabian lands. The turn the, From the start of the war, it'll probably take about 20 turns or so, uh, roughly. Oh, good, that's a lake. I can get bonus there. Probably want a couple work boats. Since apparently he got himself pillaged or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. And where's my best hammer city? I should have at least one good hammer city somewhere now. Um, production and power buildings. Uh, Kish? Really? Kish? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, ironworks then. Sure. Uh, yeah, without a human driving the te AI tech piece, apparently it sucks. It can't do anything on its own. It needs its production bonuses. Uh, dry dock plus two gold. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll take a military academy for a discount price. <laughs> wow, that's just wow. Events are awful. What's it going to give me next? All gunpowder units have March. Should I just run police date so I can have a chance at getting March? Would that even be necessary or fair? No, but just to highlight the stupidity of random events, I might do it anyway. Still don't want scientific method. I'm not taking scientific method until I have to, which is probably never this game. There's so many units uh, being built from these monasteries and temple apostle palace hammers. Now, democracy, on the other hand, I could use it. And I will get a great spy in four turns, probably. Probably. Yeah, for some reason, mad scientists didn't go for the Great Wall. But the spies, I know you get so much espionage and they're cheap from the, the ziggurats, but come on. I, if you have stone that nearby, it's so easy to get it on this difficulty. Just get the freaking Great Wall. I know it is not necessary. It doesn't matter that it's not necessary. It's still good. It's still, like, ridiculously awesome. You get two great spies almost as fast as, like, a non-philosophical civ. You get, um, great scientists. And work with that. <laughs> so, so much espionage. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, because... It, he's still uh, he's still gonna have plenty of espionage on this map. I mean, look at it. I, I I have way more espionage than I need even now, and I have mostly not run the slider, and it just doesn't matter. One turn of espionage, and I can see anybody. I'm pretty undisputed tech lead with just that. So okay, fine. Maybe I had some excess, but that wasn't his reasoning. If it were, I would accept. It's like okay, fine. It's too good, sure. It's too good for the difficulty of the map, but that's not that's not the argument we saw. And now I'm kind of wishing I bothered for circumnavigation, but it really wasn't important enough to pursue it. Or more like I couldn't pursue it, because I couldn't get optics first, because it wasn't allowed. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Still, I did pretty well. Crushed the continent with trebuchets and elephants and some longbows. Maybe some muskets right at the end. He's furious. He's going to like me even less when I start killing him. Okay, seriously. Look at that. I can't click on this. This kind of stuff is blood over into Civ 5, by the way. Herp derp. Herp derp. And things don't want to select the whole stack again. But if I do that and then that, 
Okay, now it works. Come on now. Is it really necessary? And of course, get another unit after the unit cycling instructs me there. Oh, thank God, I'm over here. How many movements do I have left? Three, one, two, yeah, I want to get some bombardment, so I'll wait a turn. And you know what's funny is he might have some of his stuff loaded up on these ships ready to leave port and attack and just isn't ready yet, which is would be even more comical. I don't know, his power's pretty weak. That's probably not the case. But yeah, if I take this city, all those ships are sunk. That's it. No more navy for him. And I can just go back and pick up more army. And if I cap him... Oh no, I still have to worry about Carthage for Egypt. But if I cap him, I have the land target rule on the other AI. So that's pretty good. Off we go! Yeah, that's right. I have more vassals than you. Oh, he had Hattie. Or Hattie had a defensive pact. Or something. Well, my vassalings can probably still take her. Their gap of being more advanced is even bigger now than it was. City Harrison 3. Meat Grinder. Can, does anyone have enough experience to take Amphibious? Anybody? That hasn't taken ex uh, promotions already? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, I'm gonna lose some rifles here. It's gonna hurt, but compared to the damage of sinking all those ships before they can move at all, I'll do it. I'll sacrifice like five, six, seven extra rifles just to instagib his navy. Okay, four losses at 25% odds or so. Let's not let's not do this too much to me. I know it's like approximately coin flip whether or not I win any of those, but still. Two longbows left. Max. Yeah, I got this now. Easy conquest. And now here's a trick that some people still don't know. You can move into a city that has been captured like this, drop units off, and they still have their movement points. They haven't officially moved yet, so I can just peace out now with my navy. And let's get the worker off this stack before it thinks that this, it's still in the stack when it isn't. And yeah, now I can freely move with any of my units and start taking cities. And if he had any forces, like anything, anything, no. Like, if he had any actual legitimate defenses, I probably wouldn't do this, but I'm just going to move out right away because... He doesn't. Like, he's not going to attack me. He's just going to let me sweep his cities. So I'll leave four rifles behind, and that's pretty safe to do. And just start taking cities. Moving to cities, taking cities. I mean, essentially, it's like I'm not using an intercontinental war now. Essentially, now I'm, I'm over here. So yeah, you can definitely invade at astronomy. It works. I remember a long time ago, I started a thread on Intercontinental Warfare at Astronomy, and a lot of people told me it's not viable, can't do it, should really wait until later. And maybe on Deity, that's the only difficulty where I'd say maybe, but I bet you can still find people who are good enough to do it on Deity, so I don't think so. I think invading with galleons is plenty viable. And when you have little channels, you can actually do uh, galley ferries. Just depending on your tech path. You're not really invading just right at sailing or something. You can, but it usually doesn't work out because of the expenses. <sighs> Two turns until democracy. What did I do with my great person? I forget now. Don't tell me I used him. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> and I can start a golden age, and I can revolt very shortly into uh, end game civics. So just uh, heal up here. Yeah, heal up. And move on. This is going to go very easily. See, I almost have too many cannons. And I knew this would happen. Well, I tried to incorporate extra rifles into my build. 
I just don't like bothering to uh, in meticulously look at each and every turn to see if I'm producing the perfect composition of units. It's not worth my time. So what should I have my Ottomans research for me next? Hmm. It's a tough call, tough call. Ah, well. Oh, jeez, they're healed up already, too. Okay, well. Actually, I'm going to select all of them and unselect these four. Fortunately, it worked for me today. That's nice. And let's see if I can pick off another city without any siege help. Or, you know what? No, I can give it siege help. I'm going to stack split. Um, four cannons. I'll just leave them to bombard a few turns. That should be fine. That goes up there. These guys can ignore the enemy galleons. I don't care. And one more turn. I can revolt into my favorite civics in the game. Actually, I could even pick up state property. Um, I don't think that's as good as mercantilism for me, though. I think a specialist in every city right now is better. Because I'm still getting trade routes with all my vassals. So this will be the second LP in recent history where I've gone with mercantilism. And viewers, that is not normal for me. I'm just going to say that. It isn't. Alright, so well, let's consider and continue the rifle and cannon spam. And yeah, I know, I'm still building elephants some places, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when you have 21,000 gold and nothing to spend it on, you're, you're doing fine. Check the time. Yeah, got a little bit left. Stop the war against Poodle here. No, we're not calling that resolution. Are you kidding me? Okay, um, I don't need this on my screen any longer. Go away. And yeah, we're still recording. Alright, I just minimized it. It's going to be over here. It's scaring me for a moment, though. It's definitely scaring me. But I get cursor flash while it's recording, too, which you guys cannot see. And so I know it is still recording. So that's good. Oh, what are you doing? Ken settling there. That's. Oh, okay. Trying to survive, I suppose. Sell me democracy. Okay, let's discuss something else. Why don't you research corporation, steam power? Um, someone has communism already, right? Could have him research biology. Now have him research uh, steam power. We already got a guy on corporation. Where's steam power? There you go. It has been said. The democracy oh my is God, the worst so form slow. of government, except all the others that have been tried. So what do you just say, Zulu? You don't even want to talk yet. It doesn't really matter what I put my research on. Just pick something. Okay, then. We have most of the civics I really care about. I could try to trade up for uh, state property if I... You know what, though? I don't even have Forbidden Palace yet, so it's fine to stay in mercantilism. Because I can just put Forbidden Palace on this continent somewhere and then cap the last few guys, and I don't want to worry about colonial maintenance at all. So we will do this now, rather than later. It's 1,700 gold. Okay. Emancipation. Free speech. Um, sure. Sure, it's not like I'm really drafting or uh, relying on espionage much longer. Definitely universal suffrage. We'll stay in theocracy for the experience. <laughs> Boom. Huge increase in money from free speech. It's been something I've been waiting for for a long time here. <laughs> I'm going to make the money back so quickly. I like how my units are still named Trebuchet. And I even get to troll the AI with emancipation. Very, very fun. Because a lot of them won't have it. He's leaving my navy alone, so that's fine. Let's get a bombardment round here. Get these rifles. 
Zulu's still... Okay, he's willing to talk now, but he's not willing to capitulate because he is a master of vassal, so he's doing fine on his own. Oh. -ho. Yeah, I'll do like one or two attacks. Wow, this protected nonsense is annoying. 87%. Percent. You know what it's called, most of combat. I don't have any special military traits. One more, two more. It really is like nothing to counterattack me. I'm trying to preserve his borders with the Egyptians so that I can get a land target rule on this continent. Because that's the hardest thing when you invade a new continent, is trying to establish a uh, land target. Alright, apparently I just got a bunch of health in all my cities from Hanging Gardens. Yeah, you know what? Just go for Lundy now. <laughs> so easy. Yeah, get some extra galleons. I really need them, actually. No, because after one or two more um, shippings, I'm not going to be able to produce units fast enough to uh, merit uh, building more galleons. Like the chain, the galleon chain will catch up and surpass my production rate by a lot, actually. And wow, I don't even have a market in this city yet, which is kind of bad because markets are really strong. And I should make sure I have all the gold buildings in Rome before I do anything else. Yeah, see, I don't. In fact, that's so much that I want it now. Rome is a huge gold city for me. That's part of the reason I conquested past it. Was so that I wouldn't get any revolts there without stationing units. <sighs> Steam power. I guess I could have the Ottomans research railroad before they uh, pop over to an assembly line. It's not like it really matters to me. I have rifles. I can win the I can win the game with these. All right. Well, let's take combat promotions again. Doing pretty solidly against their defenses now. All right. Just uh, bring a cannon along so we can't get any cheap conquests right after I take this hit. Right, let me uh, let me select the city. Stop fighting the user interface. Seriously. You can hear me hitting the keys, like, <laughs> I'm giving orders and the bug mod is lagging it. Not that the game itself is particularly fast, but the bug mod is lagging it a bit. Let's just get rid of that mace now. Do you have trebuchets? No. They're not trebuchets, um, grenadiers. Grenadiers can be problematic to rifles. But it doesn't look like he's capable of fielding those. Ah. And you ready to quit yet? He has a lot of cities. I have a lot more cities. But alright, I'm coming up on a good time set, so I'm going to cut the video off here. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Me and team signing off.